Hi everyone, in today's DIY projects we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For the first project we are making a wall decoration. We are using plates from the Dollar Tree. Um, we're using two sizes and I'll be spray painting these with my Rust-Oleum Gloss White and I'll be spray painting the back. That way I can have my glitter showing through the front. Let's assemble them. I'm using six small and one large in the center. I'm using my hot glue to attach them and then I'll reinforce them later. So I'm leaving a space for my strong adhesive. Let's flip them over on the front. I'll be using these mirrors, they are four inches, and I'll place one in each of the small plates. All the items I'm using will be linked in the description box below, and you can find the description box below the title where it says more. I'm also using these rhinestone gems and I'll put them going right around those mirrors. To attach my gems, I'm using B7000. If you'd like to use mirror only, you can get a six inch mirror. I'm also going to be using these canning leads from the Dollar Tree and I'll spray paint them silver. I'm also going to be using these small gems. I'll place my rhinestones in the center of my canning lid and then I'll glue them in place. For my center plate, I'm using an eight inch mirror. Flip your wall decor on the back and we're going to reinforce this with some skewers. Just cut the skewers to fit the center of each plate and attach them with your hot glue. It's my first time using this glue guys. I've had it for over a year and I do not like the smell of it. It's very strong. I had to open all the windows and turn the fans on so use it at your own risk. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our second project. We are making planters for the shelf or you can also use them on the wall. I'm going to be using these hexagon shaped frames from the Dollar Tree and for each planter I'm using two frames. Just remove those inside and the glass inside and remove those screws. I'm also using these wooden planks from the Dollar Tree and I'm using three pieces for each planter. Just measure the inside from one corner to the next. Use your utility knife to cut the piece out. Score it four times on each side. Of 
and it will break just like that. Just make sure the sizes are correct and you need three pieces. Now place your glass back in the frame. Just be careful not to break the glass and the frame is plastic so you can manipulate it a little bit just to force those um, wooden planks in. Now that they're in, place your other frame on top. Now we're going to connect the pieces of wood with our skewers. Just measure the area and cut six pieces of your skewers. And I'm using my garden shears to cut my skewers. Make sure it fits and then use your hot glue to glue it in place. Do not let the glue touch the frame because we're going to be taking it apart. So you're gluing two pieces of skewers in, then take it apart. And your frame should look just like so. Now we're going to paint our wooden frame and I'm using latex paint. You can use acrylic paint if you'd like. For the hexagon frames, we're going to be spray painting them gold and the glass, I'm going to be spray painting it white. Now that they're dry, I'm just going to place everything back. The side of the glass that's spray painted, you're going to be turning that towards the back of the frame. Place the other frame on and then reinforce it with your strong adhesive. For the second glass, we're going to be cutting it in half and I'm using my glass cutter and a ruler to make sure the cut is straight. And you can use one glass for two planters. Now I'm using my hot glue and I'll just attach that glass in the front. And you can see the glass, it's, the cut is not sharp, it's just like the other sides. Now let's attach the rest of our skewers. You're going to place one in each corner. Just use your strong adhesive and place a strong adhesive on the frame. That way you don't have to pull it apart to get the skewers in. I'm using succulents for this project. So I'll be adding white pebbles from the Dollar Tree and I'm also adding some polyfill fiber so I don't have to use too much pebbles. Now I'll just add my succulents and these succulents, I got them on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box, but you can get succulents from the Dollar Tree. And I'm also adding fairy lights and I'll put that towards the back on top of my polyfill. For the controller, I'll just um, glue it on the side where it's not showing. Just make sure to leave the screws up so you can um, replace the batteries.
And here's how this project turned out guys. I made two of them. I hope you like these. Let's move on to our third project. For the next three projects, we're going to be using solar lights from the Dollar Tree. And I'm taking all my lights apart. We're going to be using all these pieces. I'm using my X-Acto knife to just cut off those clips from the end. And we're using four solar lights for this project. I'm also using this piece of wood. It's 18 inches from the Dollar Tree. And I'll be placing hooks on the back. This is picture frame hooks. And I'm placing two hooks, one on each end. Just make sure that they're even. And I'll be spray painting the top with my white gloss. Now it's dry. I'm going to be adding a piece of leather going right around. It's one inch. The leather is white, but I'm going to be spray painting the leather and I'll use my gold rustoleum to spray paint the leather. So I'll just place something on top. Um, that way I won't get my spray paint on the top. So for the back, I'm using a piece of skewer and I'm just cutting the size from one end of the hook to the next. And I'll just glue it right below those hooks and this will help our frame to be steady on the wall. And I'm also using these balloon holders and it comes in the package with the balloon sticks and I'm using four of them and I'll just cut it down a little bit so it can fit inside of my solar light frame. I'm using my hot glue to glue them in place and I'm doing that for all four and then I'll take them outside and spray paint them with my Rust-Oleum reflective gold spray paint. To hook it on the wall, just place two screws. Make sure that the screws are very close to the wall. And you should have it looking nice like this. I'm going to be using um, battery operated candles. The Dollar Tree sells candles, but I got mine on Amazon. And I'm going to be using four of them. Just place them equal distance apart. Then place your frame on top. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to project number four. We are using the inside of the same solar lights. And I'm just going to be using one for this project. We are making a wall sconce. And this is the plexiglass part of the solar light. I'm using my utility knife to poke a hole inside that's big enough to fit my fairy lights. I have these new fairy lights, but I'm going to be using these old ones. I prefer these. And I'm also using another one of my wooden plank from the Dollar Tree. And I'll cut it in half. And I'm going to be using both pieces. Just score it eight times and you should be able to break it. Just go ahead and glue both pieces together if you're making this project. And you can use wood glue for that. I'm placing my piece of plexiglass frame on top of the wood and I'm also using my utility knife to cut that hole and then I'll glue the two pieces together. I'm going to be using a chopping mat for this wall sconce. Inside my frame measures one and a half inches. So I'm going to be measuring one and a half inches on my chopping mat and I'm doing that four times. Just go ahead and repeat the steps at the top and then join the lines. Use your ruler to join the lines and use your X-Acto knife to score it lightly.
I'm just gonna cut those little tips off because we have a curve on the tip and I don't want the curve. I'll just crease your chopping mat in your score line. Now you should have a perfect square that will fit perfectly inside of your frame. You're also going to be making a hole in your chopping mat. So place it inside of your frame. Make sure it's equal on both sides. Then use your pen to mark where your hole should be and use your exacto knife to cut out that hole. Now I'll go ahead and paint my frame. I'm just painting the wooden part. I'm going to be spray painting the entire thing, but in order for it to be smooth, I'm painting it with my latex paint first. I'm adding that second piece of wooden plank just for it to be thicker. Now I'll take it outside and spray paint it with my gold rustoleum spray paint. Now for my chopping mat section, I'm going to be using this shelf liner and I'll just double the shelf liner, place it on top of the chopping mat and then I'll spray paint it with my white gloss spray paint. After it was dry, I glue my shape together and this is the wall sconce that we're recreating. Now everything is dry. I also placed that piece of liner inside so I wouldn't get the spray paint on the inside. I spray painted a piece of ribbon and I'm just going around the edges. But you can use a sanding paper to sand off the edges and paint it if you don't like the ribbon. Place your two pieces together and it should look like so it's nice and tight and to hold it even tighter the light is gonna help us to do that now I'm going to just string my light through and I'm placing one on each end I'm gluing my battery pack in the back just place it so it can be easy for you to access the switch. Then I'll wrap my light and place it inside. I'm placing my light so none of the bulbs are hidden. To hang our wall sconce on the wall, I'm using Velcro strips. And I'm just placing a small piece because it's very strong. Just place the Velcro between the screws so it's not in the way for when you have to change the battery. Now to make our wall scone steady on the wall, I'm adding a piece of tower block just right at the bottom there and I'm using my hot glue to attach that. Here's how this project turned out guys, I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our fifth project. We're also using the parts from the solar light and this is the light itself. I'm using two laser cut garden signs from the Dollar Tree. We're making a lamp, let's call this a table lamp. It's for the patio, I'm making it for a covered patio so it won't be getting wet, but it will be getting the sunlight. I'm just going to be painting the signs with my white latex paint. For the second sign, I'm going to be adding glitter, silver glitter. And I want this to have a 3D effect when I'm looking at it. So that's the purpose of the glitter on the back. I'm also going to be sealing my glitter with my clear enamel. If you don't like glitter, you can just add black paint. While those are drying, I'm going to be using two pieces of my wooden plank and I'm using my tight bond wood glue to attach the two together. Now my signs are dry. I'll just go ahead and attach them to my wooden plank. I'm using my wood glue on the center and hot glue so I can have the instant bond. 
and I'll just place them right on top of my wooden plank. I'm placing the one with the glitter in the back and then the other one on the front. I'm cleaning it up a bit with my white paint. I'm also adding my paint on the wooden plank. Now for my light, I'm going to be spray painting them white so they can match. I'm just placing a piece of two inch mirror on the top and I'll spray paint them. And then I'll glue them to the side of my lamp. I'm gluing one on each end. Here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to the next project. For project number six, we are making a Jack's paperweight. I'm using two massagers from the Dollar Tree and I'm using my axaw to cut the pieces. I'm also using a golf ball. I'll use my exacto knife to cut the holes in my golf ball and I'm doing one hole for the top, one for the bottom and four for the sides. Just try to get them to be even so the Jack's pieces will line up. Try not to cut the holes too big. We're going to be using four small pieces and two large pieces. And then we have two pieces left. Just put those up for future projects. Just place your pieces in the golf ball and use your hot glue to attach them. You're going to have to be patient while the hot glue is drying. Do the two larger ones first and then attach the rest. And this is the paperweight that we're making. Now we're on our last piece, I'm adding the glue directly on that piece. And the hole was too large, so just try not to get yours too large, okay? Now that the glue is dry, I'm going to be spray painting it with my Rust-Oleum Gold. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Please let me know which project was your favorite and if you'll be recreating any of these projects this week. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave. And if you missed last week's project, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Please share this video with your crafty friends. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye bye.